Did anyone actually play Dredge, or was the sea a little too turbulent for gamers? Let's find out. Welcome everyone, I am Oldbit, and this is Did Anyone Play, a series where we investigate, analyze, and determine the truth about how much gamers have truly played and completed video games. How do we do this? We use trophy and achievement milestones within games and then compare those results to our huge gaming database to evaluate and rank games compared to the rest of the industry. Using objective data and statistical comparisons, we can draw conclusions. We aren't reviewing games in a traditional sense. Our goal is to provide analysis that can be better used to understand player behavior while ignoring game sales and hype to ensure we see reality as it truly is. Remember that all percentages we will be talking about here come from the total number of players that have launched and played the game for any period of time. So the results are a full reflection on how gamers actually play Dredge. Before we get into it, let's play Better or Worse, where I give you three games and you have to guess if Dredge did better or worse in rankings compared to each of these games. I'll give the answers out a bit later in the video, so you can see the games Dredge is up against. We have Cyberpunk 2077, Stray, and Final Fantasy 16. So place your bets and good luck to you. As always, please hit that like button, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want more of these types of videos. And a quick spoiler warning as we may be talking about some elements of late game progression. So let's find out if anyone actually played Dredge on Steam, Xbox, PS4, and PS5. The first milestone that players will likely reach is called Introductions. This milestone is achieved once a player completes the game's first pursuit, which is just catching as many fish as you can before returning to town. So how many players made it to this first early milestone? On Steam, 97.6% of players hit this milestone. PS4 had 96%, Xbox had 85.6%, and PS5 saw 95.8% of players do this. Two things are very clear. Both PlayStation and Steam start off incredibly well, and the second is Xbox has a significantly larger drop than anyone else. Let's go to the graph. Dredge is off to an exceptional start on PlayStation and Steam. Both are far above the industry average. For Xbox, it is lower, but you can still see that it's well above the industry average. Dredge's start is a very strong one. So what kind of game is Dredge? It's a single-player role-playing game where the player is in control of a small fishing boat. It has a day and night cycle that is very important to gameplay as when fishing at night, a panic meter comes into play. That as it increases, the player must deal with hallucinations and hazards. Coupled with some fish that can only be found at night and sea monsters that can attack the player, the world is filled with dangers. I won't spoil any more of the story, but that story takes about 13 hours to complete. It was developed by Black Salt Games and published by Team 17. Dredge released on all platforms on March 30th, 2023. The second milestone we've chosen is called The Key. This is awarded after a player finds an ornate key in the Greater Marrow and returns it to the collector. How many players made it here? Steam has 82.3% of players achieving this, PS4 has 81.9%, and Xbox has 66.6%, finally PS5 has 80.8%. Dredge is still doing very well, and all platforms show well above the industry average. There's a bit more of a drop at Milestone 2 than Milestone 1, but it's expected, and while Xbox still dropped more than other platforms, it is much more in line with the other drops than before. It's always good to understand the competition a game was up against when it was launched. What was happening around March 30th, 2023 in the gaming world? Well, titles like Resident Evil 4, MLB The Show 23, and WWE 2K23 came out around this time on the platforms. Looking at Google Trends here, we can see that Dredge in Blue was very weak at the time of release, so it's clear that the hype was low for Dredge and the competition was very strong. We'd like to pick a mid-game marker for our third milestone. Here we have chosen The Secret. Players can achieve this by locating a music box in the Gale Cliffs and dredging it up to the surface. How many players reached this milestone? Steam had 67.9% of players do this, PS4 had 69.5%, Xbox has 53.6%, and PS5 has 67% of players complete this. At this point, Dredge is actually separating from the industry average more, with results looking even better than earlier results, and the reduction in players is steady compared to the last milestone. All these stats are looking strong for Dredge. How did Dredge do with critics? Metacritic for PC rates it at 80 out of 100, Xbox got an 85, and PlayStation received an 81. On Steam, users have rated it very positive recent and overwhelmingly positive all time, with over 27,000 reviews. Open critic rating is at 82, with 90% of critics recommending it. I think we can say the reception was fairly strong for Dredge. Now the most important milestone is our fourth one, and what we base our industry ranking on. It definitely shows how many players finished the game and truly played Dredge. 
This milestone is called the moment, and it's awarded when a player hands over the pocket watch to the collector. There are multiple endings to dredge, so this is the last major milestone before a player can essentially choose a path and end the game. Where does dredge end up on the different platforms? On Steam, 41.5% of players completed this milestone. For PS4, it was 44.3%. On Xbox, it was 31%. And for PS5, 43.1% finished this. This is the largest drop for Dredge yet. However, all platforms are still well above the industry average. Now that we've reached the end of the game, we want to check the percentage of players that quit the game after making it through the first milestone, but failing to reach game completion. Here, all platforms are doing very well for Dredge. The PlayStation platforms are the strongest for Dredge and lost the least, but Steam is close behind them. Even Xbox looks solid in these results. Dredge is doing very well. Finally, to get a feel for how the completion has treated this game, the rare milestone 5 chosen for Dredge is called Aberration Attractor. This milestone can be achieved if the player can catch all aberrations, which are mutated and valuable forms of normal fish but with unique names. For Steam, we see that 8.7% of players actually accomplished this. On PS4, it was 13.1%, Xbox had 6.8% that achieved this, and PS5 had 13%. Now let's see the full picture. Here are the raw milestones for Dredge with the industry averages in gray for comparison purposes. Let's get into it. Right off the bat, you can see how strong Dredge is. At every milestone, it is well above the industry average. And another note is how close Steam and PlayStation are. Their curves and results are nearly identical. Xbox is a little bit lower for sure, but aside from the initial larger drop, it seems to follow the same pattern afterward. So this is our final tally for our milestones. But now let's see how the game stacks up against all other games in our database and find out if anyone truly played Dredge. We use Milestone 4 as our ultimate ranking target. Here are the results for each platform for Milestone 4 once again. It's time to reveal the final rank Dredge has in our database. Here we go. Steam is 8 out of 10, PS4 and PS5 both earn 9s, and Xbox ranks 7. So on PlayStation, almost everyone played Dredge. Steam and Xbox were no slouch as well, as a lot of people played it on both those platforms as well. This is a great result, especially with such a unique indie title, and puts it very high up in our database. So those are the industry rankings, but our database is able to give us other comparisons as well. Let's break it down. Here we can show the breakdown for Dredge across class, genre, review score, and game length. Please keep in mind that because we are comparing data across smaller subsets, the statistical power of these rankings are weaker than our overall industry ranking. Starting off with class comparison, Dredge is an indie game. So ranking it compared to all other indie contemporaries, we see that the results are much stronger. Steam and both PlayStation consoles move to rank 10, and Xbox is up to an 8. This shows very clearly that gamers play Dredge far more than other indie titles. How about genre? We've classified Dredge as an RPG. Compared to other games in that genre, we see again that it shows as slightly stronger with PS4 raising to a 10, but all their ranks staying the same. Next is ranking based on reviews. The scores for Dredge put in the category with games that have scored in the 80s for Open Critic. The review rankings compared to other similarly reviewed games show a little weakness as PlayStation and Xbox both drop a rank. Lastly is ranking based on average game completion length. Dredge is in the 11 to 25 hours range. Rankings compared to other similar length games has a slight reduction with PS5 dropping one rank compared to the industry. Overall, we see that as an indie title, Dredge has very strong results compared to similar titles. So those are the rankings, but now it's time for the results for our game, Better or Worse. So to recap, we have Final Fantasy 16, Stray, and Cyberpunk 2077. Last chance to make your choices. Which ones are Dredge ranked better than or worse than? And the results are, Dredge performed below Final Fantasy 16, but better than both Stray and Cyberpunk. Can't wait to hear your reactions in the comments below. Now let's see if we can tease out some other observations by looking at these results in different ways. It's time for the deep dive. Let's start with progressive player loss. Each group shows how many total players have stopped playing the game at that particular milestone. First point here is that we have a very small drop at milestone one for most platforms. Dredge has a great start to the game that keeps players attention. Secondly, is that while Steam starts off the strongest, ultimately PlayStation is the strongest platform for Dredge. Moving on, we can look at milestone player retention. This calculation only takes into account the player population loss as a percentage compared to the previous milestone. Again, we see the very strong start, but we also see pretty strong holds at milestone two and three with about the same percentages for both. A larger drop comes at milestone four, but when looking at our other results, this is not an indicator of a quit moment, but the result of gradual player loss. 
How about completionists? How did the rarest milestones perform on the different platforms? PlayStation dominated these results, taking a collective 62%, but Steam and Xbox were not too bad either, and that shows that a lot of players actually work towards the harder milestones for Dredge. Finally, we check on early versus late game retention. When you read a chart like this, the best performers are further away from the center of the circle. Early game, PlayStation and Steam are doing exceptional and moving right off my graph. Xbox isn't too far behind. End game loss is also doing very well with PlayStation leading. Completionist loss again shows PlayStation well in the lead with Steam and Xbox close behind. Let's take one final look at all the platforms and their Milestone 4 results, but this time we show the full percent rank within our database. This is to give you a detailed view of how the rankings played out. Use this data as you will. Let's wrap this up. So what are our major takeaways from all the data? There's a ton of positives to talk about with Dredge. First off are the great results where nearly everyone played Dredge on PlayStation, and most people played it on Steam and Xbox. It's a great story for this unique indie title, and gamers really rewarded the developers by playing this game and experiencing so much of it. The strong start to Dredge really hooked gamers as the early retention was excellent, but even the mid to end game retention was strong, and so Dredge was able to take advantage of that early momentum and keep it going with players until the end. Even better is when we compare Dredge to other indie games where we see our rankings raise up to perfect tens on PlayStation and Steam. And we certainly need to highlight how players continue to play to achieve the rare milestones for Dredge. Clearly the game excelled at keeping players engaged even in the hardest challenges for Dredge. Dredge arrived with little fanfare, the hype wasn't there. But momentum shifted and Dredge gained more and more attention over time. It was nominated for multiple Best Indie Game Awards in 2023 and even nominated for Game of the Year at the Game Developers Choice Awards. It ultimately won Best Indie Game 2023 from IGN. Players rewarded this innovative indie game by playing it completely and experiencing everything developers came up with. It's the best outcome we can ever hope for when doing this kind of analysis, as we always want games to be successful and for the audience of those games to enjoy them so much that they play them all the way through. Dredge is a wonderful example of this. And that's a wrap. Hopefully you all found this data interesting and we all learned a little bit more about our gaming world today and Dredge in particular. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do all the YouTube support stuff. Grant us a like and a sub if you haven't already. I'd love to read any comments you have down below. What conclusions do you all take from this data? And of course, feel free to suggest the next game we should look at to determine if anyone played it. Until then, take care of yourself and each other.